Hello and welcome back to my series of videos about old calculators. In a previous video I was talking about this device here which is called the Golden Gem and uh, this is from 1906, 1907, I mean you can see the patent here on it. Uh, this, this is a very interesting device, 100 years old. So let's jump in time and go to the electronic age and uh, look at something else which is also very interesting but completely different. So inside this box you have CalcuPan. So what is that? That's a very good idea. Um, they decided to combine a pen, a regular pen, and a calculator. So everything in the same format as a pen. A little bit bigger but almost the same format as the pen. So the idea was very good. They say, hey, let's have two devices to do the same thing. However, when you look at that, it's kind of difficult to use. Why? Well, if you're like me and if you have big fingers, it's not easy to press the numbers here because each switch has four different positions. So if you want to press the one, you have to press on the top, the two is on the bottom here, and so on. So, first of all, it's not easy to use the calculator. And then, if you want to use the pen, it's kind of heavy for a pen. So, again, it's not easy to use. Anyway, the idea was very good, and I think they did an excellent job at integrating everything in one small device. So, how do you turn it on here? And you can see the display is LED. So again, that's a very small display, very nice display where you can have a, um, eight digits, I think. So let's see, I, I want to add one, a one, I press here. You see, it doesn't take my, uh, my input. There you go. So one, one, five, okay. Multiply by six equal I don't know if you can read on the video, but... So, basically that was the idea. CalcuPen. Um, and what's interesting about this device is um, that nobody knows exactly who made it. Um, there are some theories floating around on the internet saying that this was made by a company called Satolex. Uh, because they came up with a pen, a very similar pen later, but instead of being LED display, it was LCD. Um, sometimes you can see Satolex on the box, but not really. Um, and um, also Satolex was making other devices, like uh, a calculator and a lighter. A calculator and anything, you know, they were trying to combine devices. So the most common theory about this pen here is that it was made by Satolex. Whatever, I mean, if you if you know more about that, I'll be you're welcome to send me an email and let me know. Uh, I'm really curious, but um, I guess I will go with the majority of people here saying that this was made by Satolex in uh, 1977. So that's a flashback from the 70s and uh, the other thing that the reason why it wasn't so popular at that time is because they were selling that for I think something around $80 so $80 was expensive for a calculator with only the four basic operation and $80 was expensive for a pen so again you know you could buy a cheaper calculator and a pen different so that's the reason why it wasn't really a, a big uh, big hit but anyway that's a very interesting part of the history of calculators and I wanted to show you that because it's it, it's it's a very nice device anyway so thank you again and uh, I'll see you in a different video for again something completely different bye